What's going on guys? It's Lark here. I'm really excited about today's coin. Today we're reviewing Sonam. This is another supercomputer token. We're going to be looking at it, uh, looking at the benefits, what it does, what they're trying to do, the competition, the social media, all the stuff we have to look at in order to make a decision. Is this something you want to get involved in or not? Quick shout out as always to everyone who is hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel down below guys. I really, really appreciate everyone's support. So thank you so, so much for continuing to support my channel, everybody. Now, let's let's get into the nitty-gritty here. Sonam, what are they trying to do? It is a super computer, of course, using fog uh, technology. So basically, you know, instead of using a centralized cloud service, they use multiple devices all over the place in a system very similar to Golem. Now, of course, the use case is what are the problems that they're trying to solve? Global computing power is a massive, massive thing, guys. You know, from CGI rendering, um, scientific research, hosting websites, machine learning. Machine, machine learning is going to be really, really big, of course. Video streaming, and on and on and on. The decentralized marketplace for computational power is growing massively it's in by like uh 20 25 or something it's gonna be like 350 billion dollars i don't remember the exact number off the top of my head but it was it's in their uh white paper and you know definitely they are setting themselves up to capture a decent portion of that very market of that very market so it's a very interesting project where, of course, you know, in, in a similar way to Golem, the miners, so the people who are putting their computational power forward, are rewarded uh, in the form of Sonam tokens for renting out their machines. So you can, you know, you can rent out anything that has computing power, basically. I, I like the way they put it. It was, um, they're talking about the internet of everything. The internet of everything, where everything is connected. All devices are doing it. If you have a, a smart toaster... You can hook your smart smart toaster up, and it can be, you know, computing Sonam uh, tokens for you all day long. How about that? How about that, guys? Of course, you know, yeah, use electricity and all that stuff, but nevertheless, things like obviously your computer, or if you have GPU units, or if you like your PlayStation, even your smartphone. Go to work, plug your smartphone in, get on the company Wi-Fi, boom, smartphone's making money at work. How awesome is that? Take 10 phones to work. Buy a bunch of old ones. <laughs> oh, Lark. It's a really, really great idea. Obviously, the buyers and the sellers uh, both benefit here in this situation. The white paper is a very, very impressive document. I would really suggest you guys come over here and have like at least a, a cursory read through it. They really, really go into fantastic depth about... The technology, um, the token, the business applications, it's just a really interesting read. And there's, you know, there's so many different things to cover that they talk about. It's kind of impossible to even do here. Um, but, you know, it, it is a really good read. I do recommend before you get invested in uh, this coin, come over and have a read of it. You know, explore the website a little bit. At least have a browse through the white paper. It does give you some really, really, really great ideas. Uh, here we go. This is, uh, that was it. Well, oh, but 2020, actually, $383 billion. That was the number I was talking about earlier. So the, the, the marketplace for this is growing massively, absolutely massively. And the thing with clou um, cloud computing services is that's all centralized, right? You know, Amazon or Google or whatever, if they've got their cloud computing service, it's in a centralized building. The fees are high because of, you know, infrastructure and all this. Whereas a company like Sonom comes in, they're able to take away the infrastructure. They're able to keep costs down significantly, which means they become incredibly competitive in that space. It actually becomes really hard for the old guys to compete with these new decentralized services. You know, people using their toaster at home. Uh, to I, don't know, I like the toaster example. But, you know, people using these decentralized services are going to bring in such value you know, it is the internet of everything. Everything will be connected. Everything will be computing. Everything will be moving the world forward in that way. And companies like Sonom and Golem will be at the forefront of making that happen with the decentralized services, which bring costs down, make it easier for people to use.
I'm pretty excited about it. It's really cool. Now, if you are holding Sonum tokens, you get commission. 0.5% is paid out to token holders. So this will be the uh, the settlement fee for uh, transactions using uh, the Sonum network. It'll be 0.5%. So that will be distributed out to token holders. They've got a very detailed model of uh, what tokens they've kept, what percentage of those tokens they're using for what. And so the tokens that they have kept, they'll be using that 0.5% in order to fund fund their team and fund you know, uh, development and all these things moving forward. So that is, of course, really a well-structured idea. They're a very well-structured company, too. Again, they've got their business overview here, which really gives a great, great, great overview of, you know, earnings and profit potential and salaries even of the different developers, what they're going to be paid. It's the first time I've ever even seen that in a white paper, you know, so... They're really, really detailed here with what they're trying to do, even giving, you know, worst case scenarios, and it's a really, really good company, guys. It's really interesting. Now, here's the team. This is Sergey. He is uh, the lead on this. It's a team of developers. All the people who are really in it, they're all, they're all tech guys. They're all developers. They've been getting inspiration and advice from Max Kordek. You guys remember who Max Kordek is? He's the Lisk guy. He's the Lisk guy. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. And of course, we all know how successful Lisk has been recently. So look, Sonom is uh, an ERC-20 token. If you uh, do get it, you can go store it in your My Ether wallet. You know, but the fact that they are uh, working so closely with Lisk is pretty exciting. Of course, they have a lot of other good advisors from different blockchain and fintech businesses to help move them forward. So they've got the right people in place. They're getting the right advice. I think they've got a really a real winner here, guys. And of course, they're hiring, which is always really good to see. Not only do they already have a great team of, you know, 10 sort of core developers and they're getting advice from the right people, but they're also hiring another half dozen people. Great, great. That's really, really good. That shows they're serious and that they're moving forward. They're very active over on their GitHub. They're active on Twitter, got a good amount of followers here. And of course, the latest news is that they are going to be listed on Binance. They're going to be listed over on Binance, guys. That has not happened yet. But when it does, watch out. Watch out. I think that'll be a good time for a, a big price increase on the Sonom token when they get listed over here. And of course, you know... Um, Bittrex and all these things will be to follow, though there's no announcements about that, and I don't know if they're working towards that at the moment, but I would assume that they will be on many more exchanges moving forward in the near future. Getting in the media as well, which always helps out. Now, what about the competition? Well, Golem is their main competition. And yes, we could talk about Elastic as well, or some of the other uh, platforms, but... We'll, we'll talk about Golem and Elastic and to a lesser extent Elastic because really Golem is their main competition in this market. Now, this obviously is a slightly biased list, you know, but uh, if you look at it, they claim to be better than Golem in most ways. Obviously, they're, they, they could be cherry picking a certain amount of this information here, but nevertheless... I do agree with one of their uh, main assertions here, and that is Golem was first to market. And that counts. That's important. That's why Golem's worth, uh, you know, $220 million market cap at the moment. They got in. They got their product out. These guys are arguing, yeah, they're first to market, but their product's not as good. They're working on an older model. They have to rework all their algorithms. We've already worked the algorithms and are ready to go with what we have already. That's pretty interesting to me. Obviously, uh, Golem is some serious competition, and I would, you know, I'm sure Golem will rework those algorithms and move forward in the future. And of course, you know, this is the uh, the old "There's something about Mary," you know, seven and eight minute abs conversation. 
you know, Golem's the eight-minute abs and Sonom's the seven-minute abs, and, you know, who's going to come out with six-minute abs next? You never know who's going to come out to compete in the future. But again, Golem's first to market. If we talk about serious competitors to Golem, it's Sonom and Sonom's second to market. So anyone who comes after that will be competing in an already crowded space. So there's that to consider as well. Of course, there's Golem's lovely website. So Golem has got a $226 million market cap, which is pretty damn good. Pretty damn good, right? Golem's also been around for a while. It's all the way back here uh, from their debut in November 2016. We've seen a massive increase, of course, in the overall value of Golem. Here we go. Market cap started right there. So they only started about 7 or $10 million uh, at Golem. And of course, now they've seen a uh, 200 times increase in the value of their company over at Golem. And of course, Golem's roadmap's long, and Golem's going to do a lot of amazing things. I'd say invest in both guys. That's, that's my plan. I'll probably pick up some of these uh, Sonum tokens um, you know, when I've got some extra funds sitting around, because I think it's got such room for growth. Look, and I know I just did a review on Elastic. Hey, look, Elastic's up on the day. That is great news for Elastic might go back down in a few days but considering that you have golem and now sonum elastic is unless it just picks up its game massively is not even in the conversation anymore and i only mention elastic because it is another supercomputer uh decentralized supercomputer but i just don't think it can be compete with these professional operations of you know full-time staff who are being paid to show up to work every day and design and develop these products elastic just doesn't have that so it's not even a serious competitor in my mind now look sonum's only at a 30 million dollar market cap at the moment the volume is pretty decent considering how small the the market cap is you know we've got 700 uh thousand at the moment which isn't you know amazing volume but at the same time it's not listed in very many places yet. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm not even, I haven't even heard of Liqui. So do look out for it to come out on Binance. That's when it's really going to take off, I think, guys. So, you know, if you keep your eyes open and, you know, follow Binance on Twitter, you might uh, be able to get in there and swoop up some pretty decently priced coins when Sonum comes out. There's only 440 million as the total supply. Circling surprise 331 million. And a lot of those are kept um are being kept, sorry. The rest of that percentage is being kept by the team. So that is what you'll see in circulation for quite a while. So if we saw a similar market cap to Golem, that would make any of these individual tokens worth about 80 cents which is pretty damn good, guys, which is pretty damn good. You know, if you, and if you can pick it up here for 2,000 Satoshi, nice. Nice, that is pretty good. And again, it's, it's, it's only come to market so recently. You know, it debuted on the 18th of July back here, and it hasn't seen a massive increase since then. Meanwhile, it's, I guess it's doubled in price, so if you did get your Sonum tokens back in July, you've already seen them um, double in price, which is pretty cool which is pretty cool. So now the Bitcoin value hasn't gone up very much, which is something to keep in mind. They have stayed very stable uh, in relation to the price of Bitcoin. You know, it has only doubled kind of recently, so haven't seen massive gains there. But the market cap is going up steadily, 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 steadily. Again, at $0.08, cents, this one is an absolute steal, guys, an absolute steal. That's it. I'm not reviewing any more decentralized supercomputers, guys. I'm done. I'm done. No more decentralized supercomputers. That's it. That's it. At least until the next one comes out. Okay, guys, really interesting project. Thanks for, uh, you know, thanks again to you guys for, you know, keep recommend continuing to recommend all these exciting projects and putting me on to these different ideas. You know, if you do want me to review a coin, tell me why I should review it. Don't just say, hey, Lark, review this. Say, hey, Lark, review this because of X, Y, and Z. And that's how I actually got onto this one. Somebody said, hey, this is, you know, uh, Max Cordix on the team from Lisk. Oh, that's interesting. Let's go have a look. So always really keen to, you know, get guided towards new stuff and to see new coins. And this is an exciting one, I think. So anyway, guys, what do you think about it? Do you think Sonom's a great project? Do you think they're going to be able to compete with Golem? Is anyone even worried about Elastic anymore? Let me know about it in the comment section down below, guys. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. This has been the Crypto Lark. 
Long live the blockchain, and peace out till next time.